What is going on everyone, welcome back to this video on Apple CarPlay. In this video we'll be talking about what is Apple CarPlay and discussing some of the basic features of the CarPlay. So CarPlay is basically Apple's take on bringing your iOS-like experience onto your car's infotainment screen. You can use CarPlay to get directions, you can use it to make calls, send and receive text, and enjoy all of your music all within your car's infotainment using your phone. CarPlay does come with these handy safe to use apps that can be used whilst driving. Of course it's not recommended to take your eyes off the road so you can use voice commands to make most of your CarPlay system. So let's say if I want to navigate to somewhere. So I can use CarPlay and navigate to wherever I want to go. I can use voice commands and be like, Hey Siri, take me to Westfield Southland. Getting directions to Westfield Southland. In that order, the CarPlay will start my navigation just by using voice commands. I can also use voice command to make a phone call. I can just say, Hey Siri, call Josh David. Calling Josh David. I don't actually want to call someone, so I'm just going to end the call. And you can also pay for your parking here in Melbourne and many of the cities using your CarPlay. So for example, if there's a location nearby that requires parking payment, I can just go into the app, let's say Easy Park or my Paystay app and just pay for the parking straight from here. You can also listen to all of your music, your podcasts, audiobooks, all using the apps via the CarPlay and or make Teams phone call using it. Now for the CarPlay home screen, what you get is on the right side or the major part of the screen is covered using your mapping software so at the moment I'm using Apple Maps as that's the most common mapping app um, on the top left you'll see uh, details of the direction that you're gonna be heading into and the left bottom is your music or whatever app you're using to play your music now talking about the three apps that you see on the side of your CarPlay the towards the right you can see is Apple Maps YouTube music and phone calls so your top app is always your most recently used mapping software. For example, my last used mapping software was Apple Maps. So it's appearing up here. But let's say if I use Waze on a regular basis or Waze was my choice of app for my last navigation. So I can go into Waze. I can come back and now it's going to be defaulting to Waze. Similarly, the middle one will be your most recently used music, podcast or audiobook app. So my most recent one was YouTube Music, so it's coming up as YouTube Music. And your bottom one is always going to be your phone calls, WhatsApp audio text, or any other texting app that you've been using, using text-to-speech, is going to come up as the bottom app. That is basically it for this video. I'm going to be coming out with another video diving deeper into more features, tips, tricks, and techniques to use your CarPlay in another video. Until then, I'll see you next time.